first of all, we couldn't afford it. Damn. And then second of all, this like, back in the day too. McDonald's yeah. wasn't even high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but you funny. know, like my mom cooked all our food. And yeah. so, and she was the cook in the family. And so people are trying to figure out, well, how do you make white people food taste good? How do you? Well, you got You don't. You throw it away. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Way to come to the casserole. But um, think about meat. Like, you make a steak. Right. If you don't put plants on it, it don't taste good. That's the a salt, pain. The That's pepper, a pain. The rosemary. That's a pain. Now, eat it without it, then. Eat the meat without anything on it. How's it going to taste? Fucked up. You know this. That's See what I'm how saying. you have to See, it's the fuck, you have to <laughs> construe some shit to make a point. You ain't talking about the shit ain't good without no plants. It ain't. Shit. Shit. So eat me with next time, go home. Get the best steak in the world. Put it on the grill. Don't put nothing on it. That's terrible advice. I would I'm, not I'm, let you be on this. Now see, now I see why they be putting warnings on everything. Don't you ever do that. <laughs> but that's my plan. My, my sort of point is like yeah. it's the plants that make it taste good. Yeah, like the seasonings, the, the the herbs, etc. So I tell people I use those same seasonings and herbs to make my plants taste good. Oh, okay. So that's why I created the the cookbook and a lot of the recipes in there are actually West African. Uh, recipes as well too because I figured like we need to tap back into our heritage heritage so I got uh, a plant-based version of jollof rice I got a plant-based version of right uh, here? fufu yeah uh, all this plant-based yeah uh, plant-based version of uh, okra stew uh, and I think it's important for and, and even like plant-based versions of comfort food like you know chicken fried chicken and things of that nature too because I realized like our people like we we solely connected with our food and most of our gatherings when we come together with is centered around food but it's important for us to know just like the movie soul food you know everything was centered around food but the unfortunate thing was big mama died because of the food so we got to not only change up our mental approach to how we come together but change up the food and how we do it too because the food is so different today it's not what it was you know, 60, 70 years ago when great grandmother was making it for us. It's totally different, so. Man, you got a lot of recipes in here too. Yeah, and then a, you got the, uh, the, the remedies, remedies in there too. Yeah, put yeah. some remedies, iron deficiencies, uh, the black circles on it. A, a lot of the things that plague our community, but these are things that grandmother would have had a remedy for, you know, and you could have literally gone to the, you know, the, the herbalist or your backyard and got a lot of these. Like how many of us grew up and there used to be like some kind of like plum tree or oh, you peach got me. tree? My boy got the alkaline barbecue sauce. Yes, in sir. There. Oh, wow. Yes, Hell, sir. Yeah, yeah. Put that on a real organic wing. <laughs> <laughs> a grass-fed chicken wing. <laughs> so yeah, man, just try to get a people, you know, something healthy, but package it in such a way where it's still nutritious and delicious, so. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's catching on, though. I'm proud of the black community. Yeah, yeah, Because, yeah. you know, even if people haven't fully committed to just eating a whole plant-based lifestyle, I'm starting to see it be incorporated more. Yeah. It's more and more into regular Yeah, diets. it's a journey, bro. Like, I'm not one of those people who push, like, you need to go vegan. You need to do this. You need to do that. What I'm pushing is, like, change your mindset around how you feed yourself. Just start incorporating it into your... Yeah, because at the end of the day, like... There's a mental connection to when you eat something healthy, you like tell yourself like, damn, I, I did something for myself good to that. Like yeah, you take yeah. a picture of it like, yeah. But then the parasites be like, nigga, we on good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's how it is too. You in that battle. And you know, that's why I tell people like, we're in spiritual warfare now in so many different ways. Yeah. Like, we're in spiritual warfare with the parasites. It's trying to make us eat things that are unhealthy for us. We're in spiritual warfare with the government, we're in spiritual warfare with those that they call they. Yeah. We're in spiritual warfare in so many different ways. So it's Hell so important yeah. for us to be in tune inside of ourselves. Yeah. And My so. spirit just said, fuck it, turn it into Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't a bad way to go, especially they. Like, I, I always say Tupac, he's born too early. Now he was born in the right time. I figure if he was born today, 
Like, and, and again, there's no, there's no right and wrong. So, but if he was born today, like he wouldn't be able to be Tupac, because one incident with the police, that nigga been locked up so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta keep in mind, Tupac shot a police officer in the ass. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, literally got down and aimed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, you know, if he was but, born then today, that shit would have been on camera. They would have gave him 990 years. Yeah, but just think about this. Think about what, what he collectively done in 25 years because he died at 25. Right. And just think about if he had done that today, what would that have done to the people? Just think about that. What, just, what, just hold up. Just think about what just happened in Alabama. Tupac would and be what, on what Instagram. what kind of spirit that did for the people? Tupac would be on Instagram with 1.7 million followers. <laughs> Niggas like me and you would be his biggest fans. What's wrong with and that? And do you understand that these young niggas be like, man, we hear you, Pac, but man, man, you can't go live every time you disagree with somebody. <laughs> but I, I'll just state like the spirit of what he embodied, like if he had that today. He had that impact on the generation that he impacted. Yeah, for sure. Do you understand that the new generation got a new Tupac? They're different. Yeah. yeah, he was supposed to inspire us. For sure. That the generation that was here to experience him. Yeah. Yeah, but. Are we carrying on his work though? He, shit, I don't know. Tupac said a lot of shit. He did. It wasn't all positive now. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't. But it's the spirit. It's the spirit yeah, of the it. the spirit of thug life. Yeah, but you gotta think, he was 25. Like, think about where you were at 25. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I wasn't even somebody baby daddy yet. For sure. I, I was. still have hope. I was. <laughs> I was still, you know, believing in myself out here in these right. streets. Right. Yeah. But I, I I project on and I don't wanna, you know, belabor this whole two part thing. We always think about what he would have become, right? That's a yeah. But look at what he is. You just yeah, gotta for accept sure. it for what he is. Yep, you never sure. know what he would would might have would have turned into. Yeah, but we we be hopeful. Might have been a pastor. Nah, I don't think that. But yeah. Shit, <laughs> he might have been a pastor. Been in there with Nation of Islam. Nah, like a pastor, like a Southern Baptist preacher. Soon as Mace I'll, turned past. Oh, so you niggas think you got more followers in your church than me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just bullshit. I you never know that. with Tupac, man. He could. You never know. It's the unlimited potential that makes you say what if. Yeah, for sure. Now for sure. tell us about the detox and, and the sea moss. What we'll make this sea moss better than the other sea moss, right? Um, well, you know, th that's actually Irish sea moss. It actually comes from Ireland. From the sea? Yeah. And oh. they, they free dive to get it. So most of the sea moss today that people are getting uh, is, is either pool grown or ocean grown. And what, what that means is when sea moss grows in the sea, it attaches the coral, the rock in the ocean. And that's where it extracts most of its, its minerals from. And, and that's the thing about nature we don't understand is that even when you get water, like you get natural spring water, you'll notice when you turn it on the side, it'll have magnesium, uh, calcium, potassium. That's what actually makes the water alkaline because it pulls the minerals out, right? But it's the same thing with the sea moss. So if it grows in the ocean, it's not attached to the coral, then guess what? you're not getting the minerals that you would normally get. And most of the people, unfortunately, most of the sea moss that you're getting today is either pool grown or it's grown in the ocean on a line. It's not grown naturally attached to coral. So that's what's a little bit different about mine. Damn it, man, you had to come up here and just ruin it. I mean, you asked me, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Your sea moss ain't real. Your sea moss ain't even from the sea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if your sea moss last name is really moss. <laughs> Uh, you and, think and, that's sea moss, but that's really sea urchin. You see, oh man. That should be. <laughs> well, yeah, the, it, I did a whole video on that on YouTube, and it went crazy because like people start. I was giving them tips on how to look at the sea moss. I think I might have scrolled past it and disagreed. This nigga crazy. Yeah, man, but how the fuck is sea moss if it don't come from the sea then? Yeah, is that, but then you go, <laughs> see everywhere, I, like all my products, I'll go there and look at it. Man. And so like when you, one of them, I won't say where I went, but I went there to go look at it and they were growing it in the sea. Bro, you, you niggas that eat healthy be so funny to me, bro. Tell me why. Cause bro, you know, if you put all of the videos of like, 
healers and shit together, you could just click on them at any moment, and these niggas gonna be saying the most ridiculous shit that you ever heard. Hey, you gotta stop getting extra sauce with your nuggets. Do you know what, what nugget sauce is made of? That's 10% phosphorus. You niggas don't even know what phosphorus is. Phosphorus is the shit that makes your toenails black. And the black man being melanated, the more nuggets you eat, the more sauce you're gonna need. That's mean your toes gonna be blacker. <laughs> Bruh, if you hear that, run. Niggas be saying crazy <laughs> shit. So you niggas like smoothies, right? So y'all like smoothies. Do you know that they blend in smoothies at 67 miles per hour? Do you know what 67 <laughs> miles per hour does to melanated people? That shit turns your insides up. See, the smoothie never stops moving. So you basically got a cyclone going on in your stomach. Once you mix that with the nugget sauce and the phosphorus, no wonder you can't boo-boo. That's, that's probably why people can't boo-boo, bro.